hi everyone and welcome back to another video again with a, another flip i have changed more things and as you can see i can't actually close her anymore she is chunky and i love it i did want to simplify things a little bit um and i feel like this is pretty simplified for me um i've taken out some decor and things as well so there are just a lot of inserts in here but it's stuff that I am using or I want to try out so I feel quite happy with how things are set up right now and I will show you all of this. So this is my yellow medium Campania from Giglio and if you've seen any of my videos, you'll notice that I always had a little piece of jelly paper here with sticky notes in and I just took that out. Again, just wanting to try and be a little bit more conscious with what I'm putting in here. And I do have my Filofax little fly leaf here that I just use for sticky notes anyway. So I've just popped a little few extra ones on the back to kind of compensate for this not being there. I still have my picture here and then my little card. Back here is a few stickers, some giant post-it notes and then a little picture that one of my kiddos drew. The fly leaf here with an ollie clip and then on the back I have my card and these little memo sheets just in case I need to jot anything down and then there's a future appointment card as well under here um, that I'm not going to show because it does have an address on it so I'm just going to leave that there. And then I added a dashboard in with some pictures. So I took, I had some Project Life cards that were punched in here with pictures on. And I took those out and just popped everything in one dashboard just to, like I say, kind of um, just re reduce some of the extra decor that I had in here so that I could pop some more inserts in. So that is what I have done with this. And I actually printed this new picture. Um, which I love and then I haven't taken everything decor wise out as you can see I still have jelly paper I have vellum in here and still lots of pictures um, then my fly leaf with some important stuff on and then some sticky notes on the back and then I did move my sections around a little bit so I have popped my to do my notes and my lists all at the front um, and I did actually transfer things to these Filofax sheets. So I have um, a to buy list, like a general one, a kids one, one for me, a uh, someday maybe list, and then a learning one, wish list, and then one for the works as well, which is a shop here. I have an extra one at the back as well, just in case I want to add anything. My little task manager sheet here is from Paper Test Designs and this is more projects and things. And then I have notes at the back um, which pertain to these projects here so I don't really want to show that. Then I have some long time goal, um, yeah, goals and then just some recipes uh, that I have moved up here. Behind that I just have um, notes on books, notes on my kids. Um, parents evening things that kind of thing then I have online orders I don't update this very often so I might take it out but I just left it in because it's only one sheet and one sheet's not going to really do a lot the same with these gift planner inserts I haven't added anything yet but I want to um, this year is flying by so I know that Christmas is going to be here before I know it and then I just have expenses for my shop behind that, which is still currently closed. Um, but I've just kept that in there for safekeeping. And then I have some notes behind that. So I've got Stalogy paper here and then some more post-its. And then I just have some Filofax lined paper and then my pictures that my kiddos drew. that have been in my planner for ages. I just at the back here. Then I have pictures. I did print, I've ordered some more pictures 
um, just to change these out a little bit because they are a little bit older now. And then I have uh, this paper from my shop. It came with more sticky notes. And this is where my calendar section uh, starts. So I have the yearly overview by my minimal planner, more pictures, and then my monthly, which is SM Plans. Um, this is what it looks like. And then it goes into my weekly. So I have changed them around. I was using this one from Peanuts Planico, and this is a freebie um, in the Facebook group. But I just needed something a little bit different. Again, I wanted to kind of simplify things, and this was just a bit um, chaotic, I think. I was using this bit for um, things for me and appointments that kind of thing this was all my kids school stuff and then this was day specific to do's and then here was kind of self-care and um, if i worked out if i finished a book that kind of thing went there and yeah i don't really need all these i can just do one giant to-do list so that's what i am doing now i changed to these ones from um peanuts planico these are also a freebie in the Facebook group and I'm using the lined ones. I have used these before and they work really well. So it's just kind of everything for the day here and then a giant to-do list. So I have a few of those in there. I think I dated until July um, and then I just have two weeks spare. Then you get to my daily section. So I did want to change these up as well, but I've just left it because I couldn't find one that I wanted to use. Um, so we are sticking with these for now. Um, we did just go away at the weekend, so I have lots of packing lists and things kind of slotted in here um, for whilst we were away and getting ready for that. And then this is today, still got my page mark here and then the rest of the month and a few extra ones at the back. More pictures and then it goes into my section, so my personal section. I have this dashboard from my minimal planner, my bucket list here and then my um, memory sheet here. Then my reading stuff, I did pre print out um, an extra reading log as well. So that's in there, I'm nearly at the bottom of, of this one. I have my reading tracker and my journaling tracker. I added some daily gratitude sheets in here, which I need to start. Um, I do normally do gratitude in my journal, so I think I'm just going to transfer things over into here and it's just nice to be able to look back on those. Um, I can't remember where these inserts are from but I can let you know in the description. Then I popped in a tracker from Peanuts Planico, just a monthly one because I don't have the weekly tracker anymore. I thought it might be handy to have the monthly one so I did pop that, a few of those in there as well. And then it's my workout section, so I've got that there. Um, there's just uh, weight log and things under here. Then I have my cycle trackers and my health logs, body measurements, that sort of thing in there. Another dashboard here and then you get to my kids section. Um, so this is still the same. I have their schedule, their health logs, and then pet stuff at the back. Again, this little envelope's the same. It just has sand in it from our um, little trip away. At the back, I have spellings um, and still party invitations and things that I need to sort out. And then the back pockets are still pretty much the same. I just added this picture, which was from... Um, elsewhere, I can't remember where it was from, but it's from somewhere else last time in my setup, and I just popped it there. 
and that is everything if you have any questions let me know in the comments down below and i'll do my best to answer them thanks for watching bye